Wow. Yeah, this is a bizarre one, Carolyn and Bill. Mark Hackle hasn't even taken office yet, but the guy he appointed to be his assistant is going down because of herpes and an extramarital affair. His personal issues are going to be his to deal with, but uh, you'll get a press release shortly after this press conference reference that issue. Incoming Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle today at a news conference talking about Damien Kassab, the man he just appointed last week as his assistant county executive. Minutes after the news conference, Hackle released a statement saying Kassab submitted his resignation and that it was accepted. Kassab, seen here in a cable TV interview, has been a well-known banker in the county and a prominent figure in the community. His resignation today under fire comes as a woman is a accusing him of giving her a dangerous STD during an extramarital affair. I think it boils down to one simple issue, is that she is the victim here of where she has acquired a sexually transmitted disease that's incurable from Mr. Kassab. Thomas Strobel is the attorney representing Kelly Dobeck, the woman who is accusing Kassab of spreading his case of herpes. Strobel says his client has passed a lie detector test and says Kassab was the only man that could have given her the virus. How can you prove that she wasn't with another man during that period of time? Again, I can't get into those specifics, but during that period of time, there were no other individuals that would have possibly been responsible for that. We approached Ms. Dobek tonight about her claims. She would not answer the door. You, you don't feel comfortable talking to us? Okay. All right. Dobek's suit for unknown monetary damages was filed after Kassab filed a suit of his own, accusing Dobek of harassing him and his wife. And it was Kassab who claims that he ended the affair. We did try contacting his attorneys. We did not hear back. Reporting live in Macomb County, I'm Tom Way, Channel 7 Action News. Well, Tom, what's going to happen now? Could this case end up going to trial? It could end up going to trial. So far, no trial date has been set. And also, we asked the attorney for Dobek what the monetary damages they're asking for. He would not tell us, but this case could be settled out of court. So we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. Guys, back to you.